Hey guys, Tough Thumbs here. Pretty excited about the video tonight. Um, got a exclusive friction folder, one of a kind, maybe two of a kind actually, uh, because this one uh, um, is, is rocking some handles that aren't gonna be on the, uh, the finished product, unless the uh, owner wants it. Uh, so I'm gonna have to make up another one to fit the, uh, the scales that are on it. But anyway, so I got two pimp knives and one monstrous friction folder. I'm gonna call it a Frickzilla or Frickenstein, who knows. But it is fucking awesome, I'm loving it. But I'm gonna show you a little cut test with it too. Hopefully I can do it on camera, but most likely not, because I suck at that. So first up, um, you guys gotta forgive me with these bench maids, because I can never, ever remember the damn damn names of them. So this is a Benchmade 912. Uh, no pocket clip on it yet. Just haven't gotten to that spot yet. But uh, it's turned out pretty sweet. You got your serrated Tonto blade, the untradeable combo, but very useful. And then you're rocking the black G10 rock pattern. As you can see, I replaced the pivot screw with a decorative screw. Just because, uh, yeah, all the all the screws in this thing were like fucked, so I just pretty much replaced all of them. Um, it's a nice rock pattern on there. Jade backspacer, which I gotta cut down that little piece. It kind of looks a little bit cool, though. I don't know. Got the uh, large gear pattern into the small. It's kind of my thing, guys. I'm gonna do that. Like you got the nice real small jimping right there for what you actually would need it for. It's like real aggressive, but doesn't hurt your fingers, but it, it snags, whereas this is just kind of decoration, but also will keep your palm in place right there too. So it kind of grabs on a little bit bigger, but this right here will uh, will snag your, the front of your finger, so. It just works, that's just, it just works for me. So you can see the other side. And uh, whips open with the thorough tie. Uh, this guy came off center and I'm gonna have to work on centering it. So right now I'm in that uh, that frustrating phase of what the hell do I do next? But you know, it doesn't rub so that's a good thing but we'll see what happens. Sandblasted the G10 of course. Just love the way that looks. does feel a hell of a lot better and look a lot better than the uh, ugly scales that were on it before. Also guys, I'm rocking a paracord bracelet made by my buddy Vance, a uh, good friend. He gave me this, and, you know, it's like USN colors. It's the, you know, Andromeda strain or something. Something from like Resident Evil. It's pretty damn cool though. Like just the weave he did on here. He's really good with paracord guys, so I've been rocking this guy. And on the other wrist, I got a new watch. Um, I've been looking, you know, I like my, my uh, G-Shock, the other one I have, like the OD Green, I don't know the model names, but that one was a trial. I never wore a watch before, like ever, like except when I was like younger, but um, yeah, I just bought that one, it was a hundred bucks, and I love, I loved it. So I wanted to get something a little bit more expensive, and I've been looking at this Pathfinder here, it's, it's a Casio, and I was like 250, and like, eh, I was just like, I'd rather buy a knife. Then on USN it popped up for a hundred bucks and brand spanking new. It's got the uh, the freaking compass on it, uh, barometer, altitude. It's just it's just freaking sweet. I like it a lot. I just love this thing. So real comfortable. So you guys are asking about the watch around my wrist, Pathfinder. Pretty damn cool. I like it. So anyway, back to the knives. So next up is a knife for my buddy Dylan. Good guy, he made the t-shirts, is making the hoodies in exchange for some sexy pimp jobs. So this one is the Zero Tolerance 560. Uh, not completely done, I just wanted to show it tonight. I need to stone watch the blade because he wants all the logos and stuff off of it. But uh, before I do that, you know, I'll just show it up here. Um, he just wants all the writing off there, so I'm just gonna re-stone wash it. So of course, your blue anodizing. Logo off the pocket clip and sandblasted. 
And you got blue paracord and I anodized your titanium bead, dude. Uh, just because I thought it would look cool matching the rest of it. And the, the blue cord looks real good, especially with this side. The arctic gray diamond pattern. Just looks real super clean on this knife. With the blue and everything, I love it. It's just, this one has a ridiculous awesome detent on it, of course. get these back to Dylan as soon as possible because apparently he only owns two knives. Come on guys. 20 is the freaking minimum. God. We can do with two knives. You need 20. I'm just joking. Yeah, this one's got that crazy detent on it so. But I just love the way this looks. Uh, the gray looks awesome. Uh, it's a lot darker uh, in person but of course you know on camera everything's a little bit brighter and uglier looking. So. But the pattern looks real nice. Diamond pattern, I think, is uh, one of my favorite next to the Anzo pattern. So, uh, nice and grippy, too. Adds a little bit of girth to it, so it's just a little bit more comfortable. I mean, I like the knife a lot, so. So, Dylan, there you go, man. And thank you again for all the awesome shit. And finally, finally, yes, frickin' Stein. Frickin' awesome Stein. So this one is going to a very, very patient, very, uh, very nice dude uh, named Tony. Um, it's his choice if he wants to keep it like this or he wants to do it how he wants it because I got to do it with toxic green, but I don't have it, like I said in the beginning. But uh, he, he said, you know, I messed up his, uh, his Spyderco um, military. So something I did a long time ago. Uh, I've been thinking about it a lot and I've been trying to tinker with it and I, you know I've done a lot of stuff to try to fix it and I just can't I couldn't do it and I, I bought him a military uh, to replace it um, unfortunately it's one of the first militaries but you know he was like hey well how about you make me up one of your friction folders instead so I was like hell yeah man so I wanted to do one that was a one of a kind real special um, you guys saw the uh, the Frankenstein one uh, this one's awesome. This is what he wanted. So this may be looking like this after uh, you know after I get them toxic green. But for right now, you know I just made it up because I just wanted to make it to show him that you know he's not gonna wait anymore. He's gonna get first dibs and have his shit right away. So Tony, contact me if you like it, and uh, you let me know if you want to do toxic green still or you want to keep it the way it is. It's a little funky though. So this is a uh, Frickzilla. All right. And there is a ding on the top of the blade, which I don't know how that happened, but I'm gonna go ahead and fix that up. But of course you got your carbonized satin titanium edge. You got the giant, see there's a little, little scratch right there. You got your giant logo up here. You guys can't appreciate this unless you see it in better light. I'll have to show this one tomorrow during the day as well. Because all these scratches just show up, it's ridiculous. Then you got your uh, blue black G10. And this massive freaking blade. Looking awesome. It gets better. So, got your insanely thick titanium. This titanium is some high grade shit. Like this stuff is uh, you know, it's better than uh better than your run of the mill titanium. I actually kind of uh found it and it's just a lot stronger. It gets a lot sharper. Not sure what it is, but you can see the difference in the size here. a bit bigger so I figure the guy's got a military I'm gonna get him like a, a military sized blade uh, it's just real beefy on this side you got your peel ply black G10 also got the logo on that side and you got your blue black G10 pocket clip just pretty damn sweet nice in the pocket backspacer is blue and black did this like vent pattern here. It's kind of like downward like slits into of course the uh, tight jimping all around. 
The thing is just, it's a beast of a friction folder. An absolute monster. And that thing comes right to there and just perfectly, perfectly stops. But you can see how big that that is. That is a piece of ridiculously thick titanium. So Tony, this is your blade uh, on some handles I just made up just because I wanted to show you that I you know, was gonna get it done as soon as possible. I think I talked to you like two days ago about it. Uh, so once I get the toxic green or if you like it the way it is, let me know. So you see that nice, uh, nice edge there. So I'm gonna attempt to do this on camera guys, but I don't have any, uh, any hopes here. So I'm just gonna push cut through this rope with titanium. Of course, yeah, I can't do it. Let me see. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I did it on camera with my arms wrapped around this thing. So yeah, this thing is pretty damn sharp. Uh, probably the sharpest I've ever gotten titanium before. So you know, if you just if you just rub it along here, I mean, the little micro serrations just it's just awesome. I love it. I mean, this is good for like, you know, opening boxes and shit. I mean, that's why I just, I, I have no problem with titanium because it's very, very useful for EDC. Um, you know, I wouldn't go, I, I mean, you know, if I was going camping, I'd like to have a little titanium neck knife on me for, you know, in the water. You know, never rust, but, uh, but yeah, guys, this is the, uh, I don't know, Frickzilla, Toughzilla, who knows but it's pretty kick-ass. There's a slight, very slight Persian like curve up here, but it's barely noticeable, but keeps the flow of everything going. And it's just a monster. I love it. And I just, uh, you know, the black peel pie, is, it's odd, but you know, this clip ties it all together really nicely. And I'd probably throw, I don't know, I. I was thinking, well, I'll just throw blue black on there when I get some more, but actually really like the way that looks. It's just really cool. It's kind of like the show side and the uh, the clip side here. So you got a nice smooth blue black. And guys that are concerned about um, entering my contest and someone stealing their design, um, it's evidence in itself uh, entering the contest. It, the video is proof that it's your design and nobody is going to do that, guys. I mean, if someone does do it and we see it, everybody's going to call them out and it's just not going to happen. I mean, no matter how good your design is, there's no people looking around on YouTube for, for design, especially contest entries. I mean, it's just kind of... Uh, you know, just don't worry about it, guys. I mean, if you're really concerned, that's that's cool. Um, I understand, but you know, I haven't been getting a lot of video responses, and a lot of people I talk to have said the same thing. Um, but I do like the video responses a lot so far. They're awesome. Uh, the anonymous drawings again are just fucking sweet. So this is the giant gentleman friction folder. This thing's awesome. I'm gonna do day shots tomorrow. So Tony, let me know. Text me or whatever. You know, let me know what you think. It's just awesomely big. You got bigger hands, it's, it's really comfy. Uh, Anonymous has some bigger hands and he was just like loving it. And it feels real good to me too, I like it a lot. I mean, there's no hot spots or anything. There's a large gap there, but it's, it's all rounded. Everything's nice and rounded and contoured here, so. But I think I may be doing clips on all the toads like this from now on, just kind of match up with it. Because you know what, they work pretty damn well. I mean, G10 is not as strong as carbon fiber, but you know you're not going to be pulling it enough to hurt anything. It swoops up there, so it doesn't catch. So you just slide it right in your pocket. It's just very nice. And I can get the proper shape I want. I'm going to work on doing a low rider out of G10 if possible. Who knows? Anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and uh, I will announce who's. 
if you can buy the, you know, I'm definitely making another one of these because of the handles if he doesn't take it, so, you know, only one more though, because this, this titanium is not easy to get, so, uh, it's some crazy shit. So, guys, thank you for watching, and I'm in love with this friction folder. It is beast. Beast as fuck. Hey guys. Have a good one. Peace.